Well, with the weather turning warmer and people getting outside to exercise, that will likely mean more cyclists out on our roads, our trails and bike paths, but unfortunately, that also means accidents. In fact, a new survey states emergency room visits from cycling incidents are up 35% in some of our Ontario cities. So, joining me now to talk about this is Nanish Kotak, a disability and personal injury lawyer. He joins us tonight from Mississauga. Great to have you, Nanish. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Listen, I hate the fact that we have to talk about this because cycling so can be such a joy, but the fact is accidents do happen. So what's the first thing that someone should do if they're in a cycling accident? Right. I think the most important thing to do is ensure your safety. Uh, if you have to move off a road, for example, to ensure you don't get hit again, uh, if that's a circumstance. And once you've done that, I think preserving evidence is a good idea. And that would mean taking pictures, if it was a pothole, or gathering uh, witness information or the information of a driver who may have been involved in, in the incident as well. Well, and I think it's interesting that you bring up pothole problems because accidents don't always come from a vehicle. It can be a, a, a miss or unmaintained road. Absolutely, yes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, and often it is construction sites, potholes, um, uh, lighting conditions. These could all be factors that result in an accident for a cyclist, for sure. What are some of the most common injuries that we're seeing? Right. You know, unfortunately, uh, cyclist injuries tend to be severe. Uh, we're talking about head injuries or facial injuries, including particularly dental. Sometimes there's orthopedic injuries to the knees, uh, the feet, mm -hmm. um, or even the spine. Okay, so at what point should people considering getting insurance involved? Right, so there are different circumstances where insurance may be involved. First, if there's a motor vehicle involved, and it could be a motorcycle as well, there's two types of, two types of claims sorry, that could be made uh, by a cyclist. The first is an accident benefit claim like with their own auto insurance or the, the other driver's insurance for basic benefits such as income replacement or even attendant care and therapy. And if there's a party at fault, then there could also be a lawsuit for pain and suffering and potential uh, future income loss and future care. Um, there may be an insurance claim with the city if there's a pothole or with a construction company as well. So when you put them on notice, um, most likely you'll have an insurance company contacting you to discuss the case. Okay. Uh, lastly, after an accident, is there a time frame that I should be working within? Yeah, there are a number of time frames to look at. If it's an incident or an accident on a municipal road or sidewalk and you want to claim against the municipality, you've got 10 days to put that municipality on notice. And you can do that through their website. Uh, to make an accident benefit claim, if there's a motor vehicle uh, involved, there's seven days to put the insurance company on notice, 30 days to file the accident benefit claim, and two days, uh, sorry, two years to, to sue. Okay. Nanish, great information. We appreciate you sharing this with our viewers, and I think we certainly hope that no one will ever have to actually use it. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Our, our pleasure. I've been speaking with Nanish Kotak, who is a disability and personal injury lawyer in the Toronto area.